Hey, this is Paul Kelly with Allstate Friendly Insurance for the way to save you money or make you money. If we can't save you $300 on any of your insurance, we'll give you $30. We have been in Greenville for almost 30 years at 9801 Wesley Street. Our phone number is 903-274-4949. And web address is allstatefriendlyinsurance.com. Give my folks a call to see if we can save you $300 on any of your insurance or we'll give you $30 at 903-274-4949. God bless. County. Welcome to the very first ever Hunt County Live brought to you by Digital Solutions, Allstate Friendly Insurance, and produced here at the beautiful Texan Theater and Lobby and Cafe. I think I got that right, but I'll probably get it wrong. Sounds good to me. So it's a beautiful, brisk, rainy morning out there on, a, what is today, the 8th? Wednesday, November 8th, 2017. I'm joined by Paul Kelly, co-host, uh, <laughs> our special co-host today, and uh, from Allstate Friendly Insurance. Paul, thanks for joining us. You bet, you bet. Looking forward to it. So it's been pretty active here uh, over the last week. Uh, mm-hmm. It's kind of a calm weekend with events going on, but it's getting ready to be the season to ramp that back up. Uh, most of you have heard by now that it was pretty, uh, pretty yeah. heated. Yeah. Or eventful at the city council meeting on Monday, the special session. They were bringing, um, they were trying to adapt and approve the pilot agreement, which Correct. pilot is pay in lieu of taxes uh, with the Saber Company. Right. Uh, we were there broadcasting. If you missed it, you can go look at the story on HuntCountyNews.org. Uh, full video. Uh, they did ultimately approve it. Right. So, and by the way, on the video, it's nice because I was already in another meeting. So I couldn't attend it. So it was nice to have the Hunt County News put it on the video. Yep. So then I could go look at it and watch. And also I could rewind it. Right. So it's kind of nice because they were talking about all this technical term. So. Right. And when they get to, I like doing it like an old DJ when, you know, they get to a really good part, just kind of back it up, back it up, back it up. <laughs> it's, it's fun to <laughs> that, see them. That is something you would do, Barton. Yeah, it's yeah, kind of fun. Yeah, that is uh, fun. But it did ultimately pass six to one. I think James Correct. Evans was the uh, uh, only one that abstained. And it wasn't Correct. that he was against the agreement itself. He just wanted more time to go over the numbers. So yes. don't don't blow that out of proportion, thinking James doesn't want new business or anything here. So right. um, I did talk with him yesterday, and they all seem to be doing fine with each mm-hmm. other. Uh, however, um, city manager Masood Ibrahim mm-hmm. did ultimately tender his retirement note Correct. effective March 5th, 2018, or if the or council the decides, council's discretion. if they decide to, you know, Correct let him retire earlier right so uh we got some special guests in the studio today Mm -hmm. we've got uh wally jeffries from fish and we've got cameron forgot his last name from the ffa again no scripts no failures uh got cameron from the ffa so paul what's coming up in the road so paul's in rotary too he's like me he's a professional volunteer we're always out there doing stuff what's uh What's good coming up with the rotary through the holiday season? Anything? Well, basically, we, we just finished up the haunted house, which uh, was a record. We almost had uh, 1,300 folks come through the haunted house, nice. which was awesome. So we broke a record from the, the previous years, probably brought in pretty good revenue. It's more than we've ever brought in before. Half of that revenue goes back to the post office foundation so that we can keep that the landmark going. And then the other half goes to rotary, and then we distribute all fish. You know, it's here today. Uh, we give a lot of money to, to fish every year, so that's one of the places the money goes. Also, we do a lot of things with scholarships, and Pam's over here in the background. She's in charge of our rotary for scholarships, and uh, a lot of that money <clears throat> that we make from the haunted house goes back to the kids for the scholarships, and she's in charge of that. So rotary is just, it's, it's beautiful to be around somebody, and now you're in rotary. It's a yes. beautiful thing. Yes, so um, all of that's coming up. Uh, today we have a program. It's about uh, human uh, trafficking. Oh. So that's something that uh, I don't think I've ever seen at Rotary before, anybody talking about human trafficking. And she's done it a few times, so I thought it ought to be a pretty good program. Okay. And then I sent you a, an email 
of some other programs that are coming up just in case you may want to try to get them to come up early in the morning like you did me yeah to talk about them so yeah so that we i can clarify that one a little bit we do this is absolutely positively live exactly right now mm -hmm. um we get up bright and well you last week it would have been bright and early now it's dark and early um to get up here get set up get everybody staged next week we have to get everybody mic because we'll have our new pretty little wireless microphones in oh, nice. um, but we, we we look for people to come join us if you have mm -hmm. an event coming up that you'd like to talk about to thousands mm -hmm. of people come here well don't don't come here now we're kind of booked up for today but <laughs> get a hold of us contact again Gabe everybody that's in a, Gabe that's in another segment <laughs> um, <laughs> so but no we, we want you to come up here this is what we're doing it for to get the get the word out there and we're going to mm -hmm. get bigger and we're going to get better every episode we're going to do this every week yep oh thank goodness I won't, thank goodness i won't be the co-host every week right this was just payback call that's, yeah that's, I, I you're up here it. early for payback i appreciate that um so yeah we look forward to everybody coming up here i know that um next week we've got special guests we got michelle from the chamber coming in talking about oh, yeah. um the that's the third Wednesday of the month, and the third Thursday, which is the 16th, is, is the Greenville Chamber of Commerce co-sponsored by the Rotary. Correct. Volunteer Appreciation Business After Hour event. Volunteer Appreciation yes. Business After Hour event. And where's that going to be at? That's going to be at Leaf Street, 2920 Leaf Street, at the, the landmark. landmark. Yeah, and this will be our third or fourth year that we've co-hosted it with the Chamber, and it's one of the big things we... It's another way, you know, Rotary, we're so, we've got almost 86 members now. So we give back to the community and this is the chamber's opportunity to give back to all the volunteers. So that's why I wanted to do a joint partnership about three to four years ago to do that with them because I feel like Rotary and that with the chamber on giving back is a perfect match. How do you have almost 86 members? Do you have like 85 and a half well, members? Well, I meant to say, I meant to you say like almost. Do you I, have a, a I, leg sitting there? I was, the was going to say almost 90. Okay, there uh, you but, go. But I knew the exact number. I mean, so it, that's good. I, that's, that's basically how that okay, happened. I was just wondering. I didn't want to stretch it too much. How do you get almost 86? <laughs> well, again, well I could say almost 100. No, there you go. Yeah, it's, it's closer to 100. Than, it's closer to 100 than it is to 50. That's right. That's right. So it's almost 100. Good. And That's, growing. That is growing. There. So yeah, if you've got a, you know, if you're in a special group or if you've got a holiday event coming up or, you know, well, we'll, we'll hear about a few things coming up here mm -hmm. and, and you'll understand a little bit more of what we're doing and why we're doing it. Um, we will cover some news, but we're going to stick to what we're good at. And that's the good things, the positive things that happen in Hunt County and not the negative stuff. I, I guess Absolutely. that's the best way of wording yep. it. I agree. Uh, so what else we got going on this weekend? Anybody know of anything, Gabe? Branded yeah. Ranch Rodeo. Branded oh, Ranch Rodeo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. November 11th. Cooper, yeah. Oh, Bertram Cooper uh, Community yeah. Seeds, right? Community Seeds, yep. yep. That's November 11th, isn't it? November 11th. So that yep. would be Saturday? Mm-hmm. Good. So now you know, Saturday, November 11th, Rodeo. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Lone Oak. Speaking of Lone no, Oak. Well, it's actually. Well, it's not. Yeah, it's oh, in Sulphur Springs. Oh, Sulphur Springs. Hopkins yeah. County Civic Center. Commercial. We're at commercial like now? No, we can go to commercial. Oh, okay. so now it's time to go to commercial. Now it's time to go to commercial. I'm, See, we're working on the cue cards. Yeah, you should know that. You're the host. I'm just here right. following your lead, and uh, you didn't the, even you're know. You're doing this the first time just like I am. No, you're the professional. Oh, right. well, yeah. That's loosely the, said. Loosely used term, professional. <laughs> So we will be back with Jim Satterwhite talking about his favorite story of last week. So grab some popcorn and a pillow. <laughs> hey, this is Paul Kelly with Allstate Friendly Insurance with a way to save you money or make you money. If we can't save you $300 on any of your insurance, we'll give you $30. We have been in Greenville for almost 30 years at 9801 Wesley Street. Our phone number is 903 Two seven four forty nine forty nine. The web address is allstatefriendlyinsurance.com. Give my folks a call. See if we can save you three hundred on any of your insurance, or we'll give you thirty dollars at nine zero three two seven four forty nine forty nine. God bless. Hi, I'm Bob, the owner of Bulldog Carpet Cleaning. Bulldog Carpet Cleaning is a family-owned business that has been serving the greater Hunt County area for over 20 years. We provide service to business and residential customers. Carpet, tile and grout, concrete, upholstery, we clean it all. 
so that you will never be surprised by a stranger showing up at your door, let me introduce my team, Dustin and Matt. Call today, 903-356-0207, or visit us online at bulldogcarpetcleaning.net. Why settle for an assembly line burger when you can have a hot, fresh pot roast sandwich or one of our custom made to order burgers? Come join us at the Ashen Rose located at 2809 Lee Street in downtown Greenville for a cold, refreshing beer or a drink from our fully stocked bar. Don't forget to grab a lunch card and get your eighth lunch free. The Ashen Rose, great food, great service, great times. I'm Jim Satterwhite. And Barney has deemed this to be the most interesting story of the week. And that's about our Greenville High School Navy Junior ROTC. They had their ninth annual uh, military inspection last week. The program was established in 1964 by an act of Congress, and Commander Mike Hale made a visit in 2008 to Greenville when someone inquired about the fledgling program. The program started in 2009, and the ninth Annual Inspection was held then. Started out with a color guard, starting out right from the, the Lion in Greenville. Dr. Liggins addressed the crowd there, retired military parents, teachers, and uh, Lieutenant Commander Wilcox is a Naval Science Instructor, and he helped uh, Commander Hale from San Antonio. Chief Petty Officer Flader is the Assistant Naval Science Instructor, and uh, they did the whole inspection. The most interesting part, I thought, was the armed drill squad. How they kept those rifles spinning without dropping them uh, must be an act of science in itself. The uh, Second platoon received the honors for 2016 and 17, and finally Dr. Liggins uh, finished the program out, and he basically says this program is for high schoolers, and says some will go on to the military, some will go to college, and some will take what they learned here into business. Thank you, Hunt County. Bernie, do you have anything? Well, uh, Jim, that was very interesting. We'll, uh, again, this is always a work in progress. We're going to shoot him up with adrenaline uh, before yeah. next week's. So we want to see Jim bouncing around when he's talking. Well, yeah, I saw everybody else got coffee, <laughs> but I didn't. Well, you've been sitting back there the whole time. Uh, <laughs> you said you're in a coffee shop that you can go get coffee. <clears throat> this is actually, by the way, so that you know, this is a great place to get coffee. Even when I'm not coming downtown. I still tend to find my way up here every morning getting a coffee. They, you come in so many times, they learn what coffee you want, and by the time they see my bright and shiny face in the morning, it's pretty much ready by the time I get to the well, counter. So said very loosely. Very, right. very right. loosely. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I come to the Texan Theater. That's the Texan Theater and lobby and coffee shop, seven to seven, seven days a week on social media, uh, Facebook. Uh, also, speaking of that, any of the sites that we reference, uh, like with, with what we'll be coming up with Fish and the FFA and Texan, we will we'll put the links to everything we talk about underneath, somehow in the description later on. Not real time, but you know, later on when the video goes out there, we'll edit it. We'll make sure links are to everything so you can find what we're looking for. So, all right, well, we're going to set up for the next set. We will uh, run to commercial and be right back, I think. I'm just waiting for hey, this is Paul Kelly with Allstate Friendly Insurance with a way to save and make you money. If we can't save you $300 on any of your insurance, we'll give you $30. We have been in Greenville for almost 30 years at 9801 Wesley Street. Our phone number is 903-274-4949. And the web address is allstatefriendlyinsurance.com. Give my folks a call to see if we can save you $300 on any of your insurance or we'll give you $30 at 903-274-4949. God bless. I mean, I guess you could use the other. Hey, we're back. I like uh, mid-season notes. Uh, <laughs> so to my left here, um, if you're looking at this to your right, is Wally Jeffries? Jeffries. Wally Jeffers with Jeffers. Fish Ministries. Mm -hmm. And Wally, the 
Why don't you tell people out there in wonderful Hunt County what you do and what you got coming up? Well, this is our 40th anniversary of serving families here in the county. We do everything from food to rent, utilities, medical, dental, optical, and prescription assistance. And uh, we're getting ready for our big food baskets that we delivered during Thanksgiving and Christmas. Uh, we'll be you know, uh, distributing that in five locations around the county in Commerce and Quinlan and Wolf City, Cattle Mills and here in Greenville. And we'll be serving about 1,200 families wow. both at Thanksgiving and Christmas. So do you already have the families chosen? Is there an application mm -hmm. process? Yeah, in October through? they've signed up. Uh, we signed up for the whole month and so we've already taken care of that. We actually, next week on Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll begin to actually pack all of that up and get it ready for distribution uh, next Saturday on the 17th. So, so Tuesday you start packing up, Does it, do you guys have a bunch of volunteers? We do, we have, have? Uh, we'll be on the back dock of Juice from 5.30 to 7 every um, Tuesday and Wednesday. Okay. And you're welcome to come help us uh, sort and put that together. I believe, if, I, if memory serves me correctly, it's been a while, but back, it has been four or five years, uh, Qantas would come up and help with the- Kiwanis helps at Christmas. Oh, it's the, the Christmas, we, yeah, because it was a little colder if I remember. The, this is not something that we're just doing. This is called Hunt County Gives, and all the area agencies have kind of pooled all of our efforts so that we kind of make sure that everybody gets something that they need. And so we're not duplicating effort, but making sure that we're putting resources where they really need to go. Awesome, so this is a way for People who might not necessarily have a good holiday meal are able, able right. to get one. Thanksgiving, basically, we focus on a real meal. Christmas, we're actually making sure that families have the resources they, they need during those extra days that the kids are out of school and stuff like that. Awesome. That, that's wonderful. So we've got the, can they, can they still donate? Yes, definitely. Uh, this, is, this has kind of been, uh, you know, most of the time we have the resources, but this year things have been tight. And so if they would like to donate, they can go to our website at hcsmfish.org okay. and make a donation there, or they can come by our offices at 2805 King Street, and uh, we'll be glad to assist. You know, $50 feeds a family for one, either Thanksgiving or Christmas, $100 you can feed a family for both of those holidays. Oh, wow. So. Uh, so no, no, we're not saying you have to donate fifty or a hundred dollars. Every dollar counts. If, that's right. Well, if that's fifty right. people that's are right. watching this and each of you donate that's a dollar, right. between all of y'all, you're feeding a family for that's Thanksgiving, right. which right. was pretty awesome. That's right. Awesome. And what about? Is it just financial contributions? Is there other ways to donate? Well, uh, this things? Saturday at Brookshire's uh, Greenville Christian School, students will be there, and if you want to make, uh, you know, go shop, we'll have a list of things that we're looking to put in those baskets. Awesome. I will. Definitely send my wife to do that. I'm, <laughs> I'm not a shopper. I, I I prefer you know if Amazon had that little dinner drone delivery, mm -hmm. I'd, I'd probably, You'd probably do take, that. take advantage yeah, of that. I not understand. A big grocery understand. store kind of guy. So. And, and and if you go to our, our Facebook page, you can find a list of, of what we're you know what we're what okay. we're needing and that kind of thing. And then also if anything changes about distribution days or whatever, you can check that out. Okay, so Facebook just on Facebook, it's just search for Fish Ministries well, it's, or Hunt, it's Hunt County? Hunt County Shared Ministries. Hunt County Shared mm -hmm. Ministries. Now, I've, got a, I've quite got a question that I've always wondered, and I guess maybe I'll ask you since you're here. Is FISH an acronym? Yes. Uh, it means faithfully involved in sharing hope. You know, FISH started 40 years ago by Redeemer Lutheran and Grace Presbyterian pulling their little pantries that they had, which basically were two little closets, right. and they began to work together, and out of that, we have become who we are today. Wow, that's a pretty uh, amazing story. It, it is It is really cool. But, See, and it, every little thing you can do starts as small and can turn into something as large right. as, you know, it starts with two churches sharing their, you know, food pantries, and now it's turned into feeding how many? Well, last year we distributed over 1.5 million pounds of food in the county. That's what my teenagers go through in a week. <laughs> but that's still, that, that's a lot of food. That, that feeds a lot. So to go from two churches sharing some canned goods to, you know, distributing over, distributing over 1.5 million pounds of food. So start small, people. Every, we, we promote the good. Do good and, and just let it build. People want to do good. And when you give them an outlet for it, like Fish has done, you, you, can, you can share hope. Right. So I guess that the acronym kind of makes sense now. Sharing hope. Well, Wally, it was a pleasure having you on the air with us this morning. Um, we'll get your links out there and try to get some people to 
help out and we make sure everybody it. has a good holiday season. We appreciate it. And now to my right, your left, I'm here with Cameron from uh, from Texas A and M Commerce. Texas A and M Commerce. So okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, you're a little tall for a high schooler, so. Uh, no, I'm actually in college. So. Uh, there you go. That works. And and what are what are we uh, what are you here talking about today? Uh, I'm talking about the uh, Hunt County Toy Drive. We uh, we started last year with a toy drive, and um, we're picking up again this year. Uh, basically, we're the Collegiate FFA over in Commerce, and we are teaming up with all the 19 uh, schools in Hunt County, so 19 FFA chapters, to basically raise toys for the families and that you know can't put a, a toy under the tree this year for the kids. So we're that's our goal this year to raise. Toys. So you say there's 19 FFA chapters. I'm going to ask just a couple little guiding questions here. Yes, sir. What does FFA stand for? Now, if, if backstory here, so that I know I'm going to catch flack for this. Yes, I was born and raised in Indianapolis. Yes, it is where the FFA convention is held mm -hmm. almost annually. Yes, I've seen thousands upon thousands of FFA jackets walking around the street of downtown. I know what it means. I want to clarify other people that might not know what it means. Understood. So um, FFA stands for Future Farmers of America. So basically what we uh, when high school, it's a high school organization, and uh, basically it's a, it's a program that uh, helps uh, the youth, you know, in high school, develop their potential. So the leadership success, you know, they show uh, show animals. I mean, just just all the different aspects of FFA. So basically, what we are we're collegiate FFA. So when you graduate high school, you take a step up a notch. You go to college, and we're an organization. So in high school, your teacher slash advisor, he's the one that basically runs everything. But now, when you're in college, you know, all the college students run everything at the campus. So it's a it's a campus wide activity. Um, and so it, it, it's really cool, but that's what it stands for, Future Farmers of America. Okay. And you say there's 19 chapters 19 in Hunt County? 19 chapters in Hunt County, yes, sir. Oh, that's a lot of potential future farmers. It's a lot of potential future farmers, <laughs> yes, sir. I guess we got some rural area to work with, so yes, sir, that's sure good. Do. So you do the toy drive. This is the second annual? Yes, sir. Second How was it, a, was it a pretty good success last year? Yes, sir. We raised over 3,000 toys. 3,000 toys, mm -hmm. and that, that all stays and gets distributed locally in yes, the Hunt County area? Yes, sir. In the Hunt County area. And we're, we Hey, this is Paul Kelly with Allstate Friendly Insurance for the way to save you money or make you money. If we can't save you $300 on any of your insurance, we'll give you $30. We have been in Greenville for almost 30 years at 9801 Wesley Street. Our phone number is 903-274-4949. And web address is allstatefriendlyinsurance.com. Give my folks a call to see if we can save you $300 on any of your insurance or we'll give you $30 at 903-274-4949. God bless. All right, so sorry about the technical glitch. I blame Paul for that. <laughs> I, I will. I'm, not, I'm going to blame Paul for that one. That's what co-hosts are for, right, Mark? Yes, that's exactly yeah. right. Speaking of which, quiet on the set back there, people. It's hard to hear Cameron when I'm hearing y'all <laughs> having your conversation back there. Um, so I'm not sure where we left off, but we'll, we'll kind of roll back on that. So you're hoping to raise around 6,000 toys this year. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Now, do you have drop-off locations or will have drop-off locations? Yes, sir, most definitely. So um, for the chapter levels, that what we're going to do is we're talking to them about putting a box in their uh, chapter. But for people that are not with an FFA and they just want to come donate toys, um, on November 24th, and uh, so write that date down, November 24th, uh, up here at the Texan, downtown Greenville, we are going to be having a, a, like a local concert where we're going to have for people to get into the concert, you bring two toys. Oh, okay. So, and it's, it's gonna be a really cool event. Uh, we did that last year. A lot of people showed up for the event, a lot of people. So, and like I said, just November 24th, you wanna see a good concert, just bring two toys. Doesn't matter what it is, uh, new or old, just bring two new toys. Um, and then uh, after that, we're, uh, actually really cool. I was talking to Mr. Driggers um, and he was telling me that Rib Crib in Greenville, if you uh, take two toys up to Rib Crib, you can actually get a free appetizer with your meal. So I thought that was pretty cool how they're trying to help us out, trying to help uh, get more toys uh, raised and donated. So I mean, I want to say a special thanks to Rib Crib and to Mr. Driggers at uh, Driggers Real Estate. So. I'll tell you what, if they put the unlimited ribs on the appetizer mm -hmm. menu, mm -hmm. I'm, not there <laughs> there toys, so I'm not gonna think twice about that. That's exactly uh, right. Now you said you didn't get to work with all 19 chapters last year, but you would like to this year? Yes, sir. Must well, then give them a call out right now. Tell them you 19 FFA chapters, get with Cameron, mm -hmm. with the Commerce A&M FFA and Drive for some toys. Get some people in here. Yes, sir. We want toys. Six thousand toys. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So, well, we, Cameron. It was a pleasure yes, having you on air. Thank you. We're able to get the message out. And again, I don't know if Gabe's got all of us in frame here, but 
Wally, it was a pleasure having you. We'll definitely see Thanks more of you, I can imagine. I, I'd like to see, you know, when you guys have your big events, uh, like with Christmas coming mm -hmm. up, we'll definitely get you in here before that and we can drive some more. Um, that goes for anybody out there. You have events like this, you have organizations, you want to get the word out there, contact us on Facebook or email us at news at huntcountynews.org or text Gabe. I've written his, bath his number on every bathroom in town. <laughs> uh, so get a hold of us. We want to get the word out there and it's kind of hard to go out and track everybody down but it's much easier if you get a hold of us and we'll, we'll get you on here we'll put you in a seat we'll talk about your organization and we'll, we'll, we'll help you out well we appreciate it very much thank you sir we do appreciate thank it thank you and when we come back paul and i will keep talking hey this is paul kelly with allstate friendly insurance with a way to save you money or make you money if we can't save you $300 on any of your insurance, we'll give you $30. We have been in Greenville for almost 30 years at 9801 Wesley Street. Our phone number is 903-274-4949. And web address is allstatefriendlyinsurance.com. Give my folks a call. See if we can save you $300 on any of your insurance or we'll give you $30 at 903-274-4949. God bless. Lone Star Pawn and Bargain Center, 6509 I-30 on the frontage road in Greenville. Your one-stop shop for TVs, electronics, computers, and gaming systems. Lone Star Pawn offers a giant selection of hunting, fishing, outdoor gear, and firearms. We have the best prices on diamonds, gold, and jewelry. we got everything from lawn and garden equipment to job site tools and musical instruments. So for the best deals and pawn rates in town, come see us on the south side of the frontage road in Greenville. Why settle for an assembly line burger when you can have a hot, fresh pot roast sandwich or one of our custom made to order burgers? Come join us at the Ashen Rose located at 2809 Lee Street in downtown Greenville for a cold, refreshing beer or a drink from our fully stocked bar. Don't forget to grab a lunch card and get your eighth lunch free. The Ashen Rose, great food, great service, great times. because I would hate to have it come back on air and have me yelling at people, quiet on the set. Oh, hi, yeah. we're back. Yeah. So again, no <clears throat> scripts, no failures. So All good. Paul, you had something you wanted to piggyback well, on the rib crib. Yeah, right? you know, the, the he said with the FFA, if you bring the, the two feet, two pieces, two deals of food, right. you get a free appetizer, right? No, toys. Not toys, food. oh yeah, toys, fish is food. Right. Toys, but- uh, I, fish I'll, is food. Fish is food. But the other part, I think, and you'll, we can confirm with Michelle from the Chamber, your wife, but I believe every Monday, if you are a Chamber member, I think you get 10% off at the rib crib on your, on your food. So you take up, the, take up the toys on a Monday, get a free appetizer and 10% off the rest of it. But Nice. Yeah, but like I said, confirm with Michelle about that. Because she sent up, right. actually one of the emails I did read from her, because it said free food, oh, or yeah, at that, least a discount, you know. That makes sense. You know how I like to save money. Yeah, and you can confirm that by um, contacting Michelle at the Chamber, Michelle at Greenville Chamber dot, is it com? Yeah, there's this dot com. I don't know. You would know. You're the IT Michelle guy. at Greenville Chamber dot com, or you can call her, 317-455-1510. Something tells me I'm going to catch a load of grief for that one. You should. You it's, should. it's totally worth well it. Well deserved. Um, I'm not sure what our time frame is. Oh, we got two minutes. Wow, what can we do in two minutes? You have a shout out. You want I do. To? Well, a couple things first for you guys. Uh, you know, Gabe. I, I don't know for for the folks watching this, but I don't know if Gabe knows that uh, people know that Gabe helps out a lot on social media things. He's helping out my office at Allstate Friendly Insurance doing some social media things that we are really bad at. So he's helping us get that worked out. You are my new IT guy. So I have to say that on that note, you probably need more business because you spend so much time in community service, you probably need to make a paycheck every once in a while. But I will say, as, you're, as my IT guy, the girls love you, you've done a great job and, and it's been awesome. But on a, on a more serious note, um, you remember why I joined the Masons? Yes. Because my dad passed away and he was a 32nd degree and all that and you know, as I struggled through the work on the, the Masons deal, well, on my drive up here, I got a, uh, a message from a college friend of mine. We were we went to UT together. We were engineering fraternity called Theta Tau, and uh, he he shouted out to me and let me know that uh, one of our good friends' uh, dad has died. Oh, I'm sorry. And that. you know my dad died in April, which is one of the big reasons that uh, 
Um, I'm in the Masons, and I want to do a shout out to Mike Quinney, his wife Kim, and the kids uh, Colton and uh, probably can't, Colton and JC. Uh, I can't make it to the funeral. I want to make a shout out to you guys. My prayers and thoughts are with you guys. Theta Ta and H and T. God bless you guys. Thanks. Well, Paul, thank you. Thank you for being the inaugural <laughs> co-host. I have a sneaking suspicion this won't be the last time you're in that chair. Well, yes. I know of one more, yes. for sure, yes. for your birthday. Comments? I want to go through some of the comments. We have, oh, comments. we have comments. People have been watching. This yeah. early in the morning? Wow. Uh, your, your wife, or uh, Michelle said that's correct. So everything that you did say was, was good. On the rib okay. crib? So the rib crib, Michelle has confirmed via comments that that is correct. So you do not have to call her. That's right. Although for everybody that receives all of her emails, it probably would be just to send her a bunch of emails questioning. <laughs> I'm just saying, and I know I'm going to catch it for that. Well, one. I know Michelle's surprised I actually read one. Well, everybody's surprised you actually I, I, read yeah, one. Yeah, because I don't know how to read. Terry Driggers is enjoying HTM. And Terry Driggers is enjoying HTM. But see, Terry came up here and watched it live. So yes. you can come up here and kind of be in the studio audience of one, two, three, four, five. I counted. I was six because I was in well, the yeah, audience. Yeah, you were in the audience point. for a yeah. part of it. Yeah. Julie Horn gave some good information on the comments. I, I can't scroll up for some reason. Uh, Julie um, Horn gave some good information on the comments. I believe it's about something coming up. I kind of checked off, off camera. Um, so go through the comments on this video because I'm sure people, as they're watching this, are going to continue to add events that are coming up. So that's, and, it's going to be a good source. And by the way, what was Julie's event where y'all y'all brought it up last last week? We did. We um, last Thursday. Don't forget. Last Thursday, um, remember for me. Remember for me. Had their annual mm -hmm. Alzheimer's rally mm -hmm. uh, at the courthouse. John mm -hmm. Horn. Yep. Um, Casey Smith opened it up. Mm -hmm. John Horn got up as a speaker. Dan Flynn got up as a speaker. Uh, Dr. Weeks got up as a speaker. Uh, Shannon uh, Ruth got up there and spoke a lot. Right. And uh, then Julie kind of closed it well, out. It was very heartfelt. I mean, hearing yeah. the stories that were here. And we broadcast that. That's back there on the Facebook page as well. They can go back and watch well, the whole And rally. I just wanted to say that, you know, I, I wasn't able to attend, but I didn't even know about it except for y'all mentioned it on the HS, HCN broadcast. Right. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have known it. And I actually wore a purple shirt that day for Julie because you talked about it on the broadcast. Well, so thank you. and That's pretty cool. I can't believe I missed you in a purple shirt. So And it was quite well fitted. Yes. Came for free from the chamber from about four years ago, golf tournament, by the way. Uh, so, so by well fitted, you mean <laughs> yeah. it shrunk? <laughs> yeah, something like that, yeah. Veterans Day coming up with the free Oh, crap. I, that, that was one of the big topics I wanted to touch on today. Again, live. No scripts, no, no scripts. failures, and we might run a little over here. And thank goodness Abe's in the back. Right. So remind you of everything you Saturday forget. is Veterans Day. And there I, I can't even I can't even begin to go through how many things that are going on on Veterans Day mm -hmm. around here, but I want to personally say thank you to every active, Absolutely. retired whatever that served in the military you 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 are the reason we get to do stuff like this and my dad actually was a marine in korea too so he was a veteran so was he just in korea or was he marine here when he, when he was here as he well was marine here but mainly oh, okay. korea is the, the so he era. served in korea, korea. Yes, okay gotcha yes, yeah um put it but, in 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 date oh, there you go. Perspective brackets for you. yeah um but there's a lot going on i know from our advertisers who help pay the bills to do all this um ash and rose has a post out there. Uh, I, I know, is it Great Clips is doing free haircuts for, is it just active? Is it veterans or active? Jim, do you know? Yeah, veterans? Veterans, veterans, active, retired. Okay, so. Uh, you have your card. Basically, great you have Clips. A, you have a card. You, right. have, you have a card. So, a what? A VA card. A VA card. Yeah. Great Clips, you get a, a haircut. I've seen like Applebee's, Chili's, your, your big nationwide chains, they all mm -hmm. do something, whether it's a free meal or percentages off. Um, we shared out the Ash and Rose post yesterday, and I'm sorry I was running in between meetings, so I couldn't read it in depth enough to memorize it, to mention it. Um, the Veterans Day Parade was last Saturday down mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. uh, that was pretty cool. I rushed down here because I overslept, not going to lie, Saturday. Uh, overslept, got down here, um, took a nice, really, uh, really good picture of the Hunt County Sheriff's Posse and their, oh, their yeah. full regalia. I mean, they, oh, they look cool. really good. Very cool. Um, 
but yeah, Veterans Day is coming up Saturday. Take a moment um, to thank a vet. Absolutely. And I, I, I've got a, a little anecdote here, and, and it's kind of it's weird to understand, but we were at a local restaurant here in town one day, and there was this very elderly gentleman there who showed us his driver's license mm -hmm. with restrictions that he can only drive during daylight hours and could not was not allowed to drive over 35 miles an hour. Hmm. Which I'm assuming, to a side note, the person I was following up Molten Street here today had restrictions saying they couldn't drive yeah. over 17 miles right. an hour. Yes. Yes. Uh, but he had taken his hat off, which well, was just cu cu mm -hmm. customary to do when you come in, especially right. when you eat. Right. Right. Took his hat off and began to tell us a story mm -hmm. about when he'd done that at one restaurant, a gentleman picked up the tab for his food. And it offended him. Really? Because he took it as the guy didn't think he could pay for his own food or something like that. And I've mm -hmm. never, I never put that into it. So mm -hmm. what I, and literally since that day, I'm not going to lie. I've picked up food tabs for uh, first responders, right. servicemen and Absolutely. women, you know, it's my yeah. way of giving back. Right. Um, I'll now go to the point of asking if they would mind if I picked up your tab Just Thank so them for their service. Right. I would like to buy your lunch. I don't want to come off as offensive. Wow. Right. Okay, everybody right, that knows yeah, me. Know that. <laughs> I don't want to come off as offensive. It just happens sometimes. <laughs> it's but, a natural occurrence with yes, the party. But, yeah. uh, so now, because of that, I do. What people learn to uh, love about you. As a, well, what's your, never mind, I can't say that on air. No, you cannot. Um, <laughs> but it's, it's my way of offensive. wanting to pay them, but not make them feel as if, you know, they can't afford their right. own food or right. they're looking for handouts. Right. Right. And that's, that's kind of the way that he took it. So now I just ask, you know, would you hmm. mind? I'd like to thank you for your service. May I, may and when, I when, that, when you have, has it gone pretty well? I mean, when you've done that? Yeah, no, I mean, you, you don't turn down a free meal, right? Never. Most people won't. So, yeah. Yeah. but I can't, I, I, it's a good thing to do. So Veterans Day Saturday, um, mm -hmm. check, keep checking on huntcountynews.org. Keep looking at our Facebook. If you follow us on Twitter, as we, I, I looked, we actually do have people that follow us on Twitter. Hmm. Um, we have younger. an Instagram, but I'm not going to lie. We don't use it. That must be the younger generation. It has to be. I think people are now saying that... I'm surprised you attract the younger generation, actually. Well, you got people like me on there. I said younger. Oh, okay. Sorry. What, Jim? Did you miss that? I forgot about the Rainbow High School tomorrow. It's having a lunch for veterans. Ooh. And Chief Hayoski is... is okay, so... Right. Chef K is doing a Veterans Day lunch at the high school tomorrow? At the high school. Okay, we'll we'll get the we'll get that out there. Jim mm -hmm. will put a story yeah. together out there about it. But veterans at the high school, Green well, Light High School. And you know the community sees rodeo over in uh, Sulphur Springs at the Hopkins Center. That's that's on Veterans Day. Right. Yeah, that's on Saturday. So they'll do. I'm sure there'll be a a very nice tribute during awesome. that for for that. And they will have bull riding there too. So that's always fun to watch. Awesome. But yeah. Make sure people know to uh, share this on their Facebook page if they like it. So the more views that we have, the more encouraged we are to do more. Did anybody hear Gabe say that? If not, <laughs> I'll reiterate what he stated. Share this. Like this. Like and share this. Make sure that so many people, everybody in Hunt County sees this. The more it grows, right. the larger we can get with this. We're going to keep ramping it up and making it a better, better spectacle. Mm. Uh, Spectacle's a good, spectacle is a good word. I'd like to. I, I'm not gonna lie. I want to get it to where we're big enough. We can have a juggling bear behind us. Well, you did have it. Well, I did have right. it, but it would have been cool if it, it was like a juggling bear and a clown mask. That would have been awesome. The, and then maybe the bear attacked it to really promote, you know, the haunted landmark. Maybe. I, I'm For sure there's. A, I'm sure there's an to insurance to, thing to, there, but, but yeah. I'm sure you can work through that. Well, you're the insurance guy. Oh yeah. Is there a liability I'll, waiver I'll, it has I'll, to sign? I'll, I'll, I'll put one together for you that you awesome. can pay for. We're good. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> you plenty of views. Oh, probably. Yeah. <laughs> it mauled by bear. It juggling bear. By, juggling, juggling bear. bear. So now you have your challenge for it'd be uh, probably whatever that Wednesday is before October 31st. Yeah, that's that's. Yeah, good put that down on his things to do. Juggling bear to attack <laughs> it. I like that. I yeah. like the way you think. All right. Well, for Paul Kelly from Allstate Friendly Insurance, remember you're in good hands with Allstate Friendly Insurance. Yes. Because, you know, Shannon and the gals do all the work. For, yes, that's, thank that's God why you're in for good hands. That. And they have a special goal, and so that everybody knows, as the commercial that you've seen a couple times through this stated, <laughs> yeah. if they can't save you three hundred dollars, they'll give you 
thirty dollars. Very well See, done, buddy. I, I, I did all the editing. That's I've heard you say that like guy five thousand times. Yes, you have. So anyway, from Paul Kelly, ladies and gentlemen, Gabe, Jim, we've got Miss Pam Mucci back there as our set assistant. Um, <laughs> she will slowly evolve into the person back there with the bull whip and the stool. Yes. Uh, that's well our, needed. Our guests, uh, Wally Jeffers and Cameron from the FFA and Fish. Mm -hmm. Uh, we'd like to thank you for joining us and leave us a note in the comments, share this to all your friends and Gabe, give me the countdown to five so I can come up with a really cool line. Three, two, love you mom, love you Michelle, see you kids. God bless. Hey, this is Paul Kelly with Allstate Friendly Insurance with a way to save you money or make you money. If we can't save you $300 on any of your insurance, we'll give you $30. We have been in Greenville for almost 30 years at 9801 Wesley Street. Our phone number is 903-274-4949. And the web address is allstatefriendlyinsurance.com. Give my folks a call to see if we can save you $300 on any of your insurance or we'll give you $30 at 903-274-4949. God bless.